when we're enjoying the local snow. So it's an absolutely beautiful snowy day to be out for a walk. Um, walked into town earlier, got a sledge, brought back the uh, Christmas tree on a sledge. It was almost an American sort of scene. It was quite a nice sort of Christmassy sort of feel to it. And I haven't felt Christmassy at all this year yet. So that's that's been a sort of a nice, nice thing. But I'm in Wilms, we're out now walking along the canal and um, just, uh, I'm just going to show you a view, it breaks my heart but um, where I am now was all sort of beautiful fields up until a year ago and over there you can see they've whacked in these houses or they're in the process of doing it and there was a beautiful walk between those fishing lakes there, there's a footpath went straight across the fields to the next sort of village along. And they've just blocked it off. And they built houses on it. Just like they do everywhere. But that housing stretches all the way through this bit. Just out of interest, uh, the field where I'm sort of pointing now, which is there, which is the next door field to where they're building always has standing water in it all the way through summer it's that low lying they just think well what a shame because these people are going to spend 400,000 on these houses and they're essentially sitting on a lake the lake's buried like you know about a metre underground but they're essentially sitting on a lake this is as far as our walk today is going to take us along this towpath. There is an alternative route, but it goes on for miles and I haven't really got the time or all the energy for it. But it goes over that way, around Hollowed Fields and then joins up the far end. But to be honest, we're just on an out and back route, so we're stopping here. Um, the only reason it's closed, they're just resurfacing at the moment. So... Um, it's a good thing because that section was particularly muddy so onwards ground is really really slushy now um, we're quite a way above the freezing point actually at the moment uh, it will freeze again overnight so it'll still be here tomorrow um, there's been enough of it fall it'll hang around for a few days but um, yeah it's, it's very mild so it's already slushing underfoot, which is both good and bad. <laughs> it's good from a point of view of work, it's bad from a point of view of fun. But, um, but there we go, it's been nice to have the snow. Um, and it is only December, so you know, more commonly it would be sort of January, February for snow. So, um, we may well get more yet. Snow for us is um, very rare or to have any significant snowfall. The last time we had significant snow in my area was sort of 2011, 2012, so five years ago. So everyone goes mad for it and it's, uh, it's nice. Um, you, know, you wake up in the morning and you can hear there's a quietness outside, so even before you open the curtains you just know that there's been snow because everything is quiet and hushed and there's not people in car you know the cars don't really appear for a good couple of hours and they, even then they're just sort of crawling along but um, of course because it's a busy part of the world you do get a lot of car accidents and things so it's always sensible just to leave the damn thing at home you know do something else if you can and leave the roads to the people that really need to be on them, which is 
ambulances, fire brigade, people like that, you know, because most of us don't really need, certainly on a Sunday, today's a Sunday, most of us don't need to be out and about, not really, you know, but we do have this sort of burning desire though, to get out and about all the time, and that is hard to fight, you know, because it's our, it's our right to go out and do things. But I just look at it as a great way, just great excuse not to take the motor out. You know, I have driven in snow. And it doesn't matter how good you are at driving in the snow. It might be uh, someone else is really bad and they're just going to crash into you. And uh, that doesn't do anyone any favours. But look at this. Isn't this beautiful? That is what a snow day is all about. 